Hey, hey, hey! Kamoista Whitey, and I'm back once again with something old. <laughs> I don't know, I keep on uploading old parts. I just don't have time or the extra moolah to buy new new parts because they are still like expensive. Anyway, this is uh, a cassette or cog sprocket race work. And it is 9 speed, 11.42. It doesn't really have much anything on the... Oh, here we go. Race work and... Cassette bracket, Cassette Shikash Crunch. Cassette de Duela. Made in Taiwan. Uh, that's about it. So I'm gonna open this up and let you guys see what is going on with race work so honestly I like race work much better than the segment because of the brand name or the way you say it uh, what do we have here uh, I'm not really sure what this is oh maybe maybe it's for the box right there you go hallelujah okay so indeed this is brand new tap it like that and basically I'm just going to show you that this one is uh, a uh, what you call this a steel cogs or cassette sprocket I think we don't really have stainless uh, steel cogs or cassette sprocket uh, the only brand that I know that makes uh, aluminum sprocket is like Recon R-E-C-O-N you can go search them on the net they usually make uh, racing sprockets so uh, price range is like 10,000 peso to 15,000 and you can only use it for like 5 or maybe 10 times during uh, a race it's only for racing anyway I'm gonna open this up going to show you how heavy or how light the uh, race work 9 speed 1142 cassette double black double black for the last two cogs over here so I really like how the way they designed it with the number 42 T and I just don't like this one it's red it should be black or silver but anyway it's up to you so here we go I'm gonna remove the uh, plastic so uh, I can show you if the lock ring is like steel or maybe aluminum or alloy uh -huh, it's kinda hard to oh there you go so this is just plastic to hold the uh, sprockets or the cassette cogs I think this one is uh, anodized steel. So I'm gonna get my magnet. Yes, indeed, it is steel. All of them are steel. This one, the other one. I keep on getting questions if the cogs or the cassette sprocket that I'm selling, if they are like stainless steel. Unfortunately, <laughs> again, it's not stainless. Even Shimano XDR, the top of the line, uh, fifteen thousand cog cassette sprocket, they they are made of steel and uh, I think titanium. Not, but not really sure. I haven't tested the XDR cogs. I don't have them yet. Again, I don't have them yet. Maybe next year I will get one for myself. Okay. So confirm. It's not stainless and also uh, the normal questions that I get is that if you can use the uh, 9 speed cog or cassette sprocket on a um, 10 speed hubs uh, we're gonna try that out right now this is a Joytech uh, hubs 10 speed ready 
this hub can only use up to uh, 10 speed so if this one won't work you need a spacer over here so I'm gonna try it right now but I think I think it doesn't need the spacer but I'm gonna check them out and go or I might be wrong since still a lot of space over here or I could be right and I think you don't really need spacer for this uh huh I think I need the tool to install this it's kinda hard to just use my hand holy crap okay dogs so this one is not really super tight just gonna show you if there's uh, unnecessary movement so far it doesn't have any and I believe you can install the race work 11 speed 9 11 speed uh, oh I'm sorry mm, crap <laughs> I believe you can install the race work 9 speed 1142 on a 10 speed ready hub without using a spacer Okay. Now, uh, what else I can show you about this darn cogs? <laughs> oh, the weight test, yep. I can only do simple magnet test, weight test, and uh, what you call that? Fitment or. Uh, Anyway, I don't know what you call that. Uh -huh -huh. Let's go ahead and check the weight. I think this one is like 500 grams or maybe more. Uh huh. Yes, it is at 602 grams. So, uh,. It's kind of heavy, right? But most likely it's kind of durable because it's a little bit heavy. Again, 602 grams for 9 speed 1142. I was hoping this will be on like 525 grams, but anyway, uh, that's how they do things with race work. So I'm hoping this is tougher than other brands. It looks, it almost looks like uh, a Shimano, and the the finish on the cogs or cassette is indeed smooth. It's almost like premium. The only thing that I don't like is this one's anodized red. It should be just black or same color as this one but anyway that's just me so well, so far we just covered magnet test weight test and what you call this one placing it in on the hub maybe it's called hub test or fit uh, fitment test is there such a word fitment <laughs> I don't know well uh, this one is not yet live it's not yet uh, uploaded on my shop but as soon as I upload this one, I'm gonna paste the link on the video description and the comment section. By the way, I only have like one. <laughs> video. I only have one race work, 9 speed 1142. Anyway, if ever I uh, get a hold of uh, a new a new one or a new stock then definitely I uh, keep on posting or keep on selling them <laughs> anyway for your info at least you have an idea about about the uh, cogs they are not stainless right and you can install them on 10 speed hubs without using spacer okie dokes <sighs> alright 
so I hope you're not skipping my ads so I'm now earning one dollar per day <laughs> one dollar per day alright so see you next time guys ingats ciao